In the dying light of a cool November day, Lloyd Mergerow starts his chainsaw in order to cut and then split the final log to add to his winter wood pile. It's something he's done for multiple decades. A hundred years. <laughs> Pretty close. The 94-year-old man has been cutting his own trees from his own property and chopping his own wood since before the modern chainsaw was even invented. I was about 20 when I started. I was about 20 when I started cutting wood, and I've been cutting ever since. How many 94-year-olds do you know who still do their own wood? I know one, and that's Lloyd Mercer, and that's about it. <laughs> yeah, he's a remarkable man. And he doesn't just cut his own firewood. He helps his neighbor, Bill Witherall, with his wood on one condition. Yesterday, he wanted me to come up and go down and get him, of course, and help me come up here and do my wood. I helped him last week do all his, so he feels that he's got to return the favor and help me, which is, which is fine and gives him something to do, and he certainly enjoys it. The two men help heat each other's homes, and they've got enough split and piled to last for two winters. But even now, in the twilight of a full day's work and a long life lived, Mergerow says he'll be back in the woods next season and for as long as he's able to hold a saw. I like cutting wood. <laughs> Always did. Shane Fowler, CBC News, Blissfield. We're done for the day. <laughs>